The Philippines is an archipelago of more than 7,000 islands with rugged mountains and coastal plains, which make infrastructure development, particularly telecommunications, challenging. As an island nation, it is no stranger to connectivity issues. This is especially evident in far-flung areas that have yet to fully benefit from digitalization, whether in governance, services, or e-commerce. Although the country's internet and digital competitiveness have improved tremendously, there is still opportunity for growth and expansion so that more Filipinos can connect to the internet. Kung ang pag-uusapan po ay ang uh, internet connectivity po, ano, ay hindi pa po ganun ka-stable ano po, ang connection po natin dito. In the other uh, geographically isolated and disadvantaged area like the Kapanikian, ay hindi pa po sila nararating ng connectivity ng ating uh, internet, maging ng anumang uri ng services when it comes to telecommunication. Kailangan po po namin tumawid ng dagat po, mga one hour po, ang tatakbuhin bago ka pa makarating sa bayan para makapag-chat, makapag-internet. Umuwi pa po kami dingalan para po mabasa yung mga ano namin sa group chat, yung mga patawag po. Pag may patawag po si Mayor, pag may seminar, pag may meeting po kami sa DSWD. Dahil isa kami sa pinakamalayong barangay dito sa Dika Panikian, Pagpunta pa lang namin sa bayan, gastos na. Here's the good news. The Philippines is ready to explore satellite broadband technology with the help of inclusive access to satellite. The Philippine Space Agency, or FILSA, the agency responsible for addressing all national issues and activities related to space science and technology applications, or SSTA, is guided by its powers and functions provided in the Philippine Space Act to promote and facilitate commercial space capabilities. One important downstream application of SSTAs is internet connectivity. With this in mind, FILSA aims to bring relevant space technologies and associated policies to the forefront. To leverage the potential of emerging satellite broadband technology and address the connectivity gap, FILSA collaborated with the Department of Science and Technology, Advanced Science and Technology Institute, and the United States Agency for International Development to implement the project Incentivize. Incentivize stands for Introducing Non-Geostationary Satellite Constellations Test Deployments to Improve Internet Service. Through this initiative, FILSA hopes to put a spotlight on the space segment and support the country's inclusive and resilient economic growth. FILSA worked with USAID Beacon and DOSD ASTI to engage communities and to collect data so we can assess the impact of the internet access and also address our sustainability. Satellites can connect all of our islands. These technologies can bridge, uplift, and empower communities. We realize, therefore, that space is not that distant after all. All of us benefit from space capabilities in our everyday lives. Because here in the Philippines, only half of Filipinos are participating online and using the internet. And so what we've been doing with FILSA has really been testing and supporting the trialing of new internet connectivity technologies, particularly in low Earth orbit satellite broadband constellations. In the Philippines, there are, what, 7,461 islands. The vast majority of them don't have internet access, so they're not benefiting from the services that can be delivered over the internet. In my experience here in the Philippines, um, all Filipinos, regardless of where they're at, are extremely intelligent, hardworking, and innovative. And the connectivity that comes through the incentivized program that we support brings those people from marginalized communities into that partnership and really unleashes the potential of this country. Through Incentivize, 
Filsa collaborated with non-geostationary orbit satellite internet operators to conduct deployments in rural and remote areas in the Philippines. Incentivize facilitated the installation of satellite broadband kits in Barangay Apad in Humalig, Quezon, and in Barangay di Kapanikian in Dingalan, Aurora. Napakaganda po na nagkaroon ng kami ng internet. Nababawasan yung aming mga abala. Dahil yung ilalabas namin, nagagawa na namin ngayon. At yung sadya namin na para paglabas, na isesend na lang namin through internet po. Yung mga report namin, through email, nakakarating na. Yung gastusin namin sa transportation, nawawala na dahil may internet na po kami. Mas napadali po yung, yung pag-uusap kasi nga po, dati nga, mahirap, katulad ng kailangan pang magbilin-bilin sa ibang tao po para lang makarating sa akin yung bilin nung midwife namin. Ngayon po, talagang kami na yung nagkokontakan diretsahan na po na contact na sa isa't isa sa amin. Bilang isang daycare worker po, ginagamit po namin itong internet para sa mga kaalaman po ng mga bata. Ang pag-uunayan ay dapat pinalalakas po magita ng mga pasilidad tulad ng internet connections or other facilities na mag-uunay sa bawat barangay. Napakahalaga po para sa isang bayan o third class municipality nagsisimula sa larangan ng uh, pag-unlad ng lokal na ekonomiya, sa usapin ng turismo at mga gawain na uh, magpapatibay para po sa tulong ng pag-unlad ng bawat barangay. The Incentivize Project is an exciting and greatly appreciated initiative. I recognize all the teams involved in this pursuit, namely the Philippine Space Agency, the Advanced Science and Technology Institute, all the DOST, the USAID Beacon, and all other partners and supporters of this undertaking. This innovation will significantly help in providing the ability, resources, and information to our government and our people, which will pave the way for better decisions and actions.